What's up, everyone? Dust Bunny Vigil here from Slackers and Cover, and we're back with more Pocket Rogues. I am having quite a bit of fun with this one. Like I've said many, many times before, it's just a great game to pick up and just move down the road, relaxing, all cool outside of the school. Couple of fellows, we're up to no good. Yeah, we're, we're, we've just been all in playing. Uh, it, it's become my uh, my side game that I've been picking up in between, like you know, when I can't record or when you know I don't want to get on like a, the the stream server or anything like that. It's just something chill that I can spend a little time and just play around with because anything you do is progression in this game, and those are the kind of games I can really get behind. I like games that no matter what you do, you're building up to a better end to make yourself stronger, to get to better enemies, uh, ending harder stuff, more challenge, that kind of stuff. It's good times. Good times for all. Um, offside, I have done a couple upgrades to the base just because, you know, a uh, couple extra hundred coins per time I log in is fantastic. A couple um, damage increases. Finally got the mini-map, thank goodness. Not sure how that works out just yet. Haven't had a chance to try it out. Um, mages have been upgraded as well as... Who was I messing around with earlier? I think I think it was the mage. Uh, anyway, here we go. Uh, Hunter is our choice for today. He's already been set up. Got him some good stuff. Went ahead and invested in a black dagger that I don't remember if we got this on a... I don't believe it was a hunter run. I think it was a berserker run that that recipe dropped for that. So that's great. You know, just much higher damage right out of the, the, the get-go. He still has a pet, leveled up. Got him four extra inventory slots as well as the gold pickup and the experience gain. Hopefully we can just go to town and really start getting this guy leveled up. I do like the idea of this character. He's fun. He's entertaining. Um, real quick, does he get any advantages on enemy damage doesn't appear so because I know some of these classes get like extra damage against uh, undead extra damage against who has that kind of thing now are we gonna do this let's do execution I don't know if I had that one selected uh, power will attack with a white swing when it has an increased chance to cause critical damage to the target whose health is less than 3% awesome we're also gonna make sure we have crossbow volley because uh, double shots are awesome and we're gonna use the side of sacrifice which uh, marks all nearby enemies, reducing their defense for 10 seconds, stopping their region of health, as well as uh, increasing the amount of armor penetration we get on those enemies. That sounds awesome. <coughs> <coughs> so, quest. Uh, only quest we got of the three we have is Abandoned Prison. Uh, my plan around on these earlier got the other two completed. It was like pick up X loot quests, and those just kind of happen. Let's do an... Uh, Infinite Abandoned Prison, we haven't actually done that yet, because as you can see, the one on here means we haven't gone past the first floor. Let's do this. It's going to be uh, goblins and humanoids and all sorts of crazy stuff, but that's a slow attack, my dudes. And uses a lot of mana. Oof. All right, well, let's get to town and... Uh... So, it does... Decrease their damage a little bit. Our goal, I'm actually do. Oh my gosh! I forgot that if you don't uh, get that right away, those witches can spawn back in an instant. Not doing too shabby. We need to pretty much use our middle mouse skill all the time. That reducing their damage and their life regen is just invaluable. Invaluable to have. Oh man, I'm excited. There's so many things on the horizon for for such and such on the channel. We've got the Arch server coming up. It's not even our server, but uh, one of our colleagues picked up one. I, I don't. I didn't mind playing on the other server with uh, friends of friends, but like a server run by a streamer is just you know good takes. We know no one's gonna get butthurt about you know who's doing a, a stream where. Sometimes people don't like it. Like you jump on and be like, hey, we're we're gonna stream because you, you, 
you don't have to, but I always try to be like just forthcoming with like, yeah, this, this these are our intentions. This is what we're gonna do. Sometimes people are like, no, no, you can't stream on the server. I don't want, I don't want to see, I don't want to be on stream. Like, all right, and you know, I can respect that. That's that's your choice, and then you know, we'll, we'll find somewhere else to go, or that's why typically we just get our own servers. But you know, t to have someone we know that does actively doing that uh wants to be did we pull the, the floor nice okay i don't have to waste my my mana it's just nice because that way if we ever need something done or like hey something catastrophic happened can we get a quick fix we we we, we know the the admin well enough that we could probably get it without an issue and, and that's good I mean, we know the uptimes and downtimes and when they're going to do updates and stuff without having necessarily an issue with it so it just works out in our favor. I just gotta, I just gotta get the information from him so I can make sure I'm floating into the right place because I really want to stream that game. Since uh, essentially we had just enough time before uh, good old Fallout 76 comes out. Ooh, so we lose a bit of damage, but each enemy killed by this weapon restores some health to the character. That sounds great. Where does this go? Give it to me. Black Dagger, I'm sorry, yo. We we had you, we had you briefly. You were great to us. Don't worry. We'll we'll keep using you in the future. Wow, we are seeing these all over the place. This is Pumpkin King, which means we have to fight the Pumpkin King, and his loot at the end is loot that's yeah, above and beyond what I've ever really seen. So I I think it's like mul multiple multiple levels above where we are now. Let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Chunking him hard with that defense break. That heals, right? Let's go ahead and drop a uh, constant heal. I don't have any mana regens. I'm gonna run away and see if I can get some mana regen so I can pop that thing on him once again and go to town on this bad boy. Yeah, that, that HP regen. Yeah, he's out of luck. Sorry, Pumpkin Gang. Any, uh, any vials hidden in any of these boxes? Because we could use. Use some healing items that aren't uh, instant poppers. When I say instant poppers, I mean anything that's instantly used. So you know, like those little red and blue balls, those instantly get affected into your 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 pool. Okay, jack o' lantern. I I like it in theory, but it doesn't have anything uh, worthwhile other than just the light source, which don't be wrong is really strong because light sources reduce the regen of enemies. But we already have a skill that actually does that. Wow, we got shafted on the gear payout that's that's unfortunate oh well onwards and outwards I say onwards and outwards there's a lot of mobs However, we got the vampire Gotta heal up. I don't really want to waste that much mana, but these guys hurt, man. Let's go ahead out. We'll get our mana. Oh, we're already healed up. Um, we have something better than what that is, unless it's a special. Actually, it is a special, which means it might be a higher damage than what we have. Uh, less. However, we get the whole thirst for blood. That lowers our max HP. You know, being that we're kind of running in there and doing attacks on people, maybe not the brightest move. Can I attack, please? Mm, attack! Get all the yummy yumminess. Okay, well. Sword Sword's not going to help us out much. How are we full right now on... I don't Ooh, hello. <coughs> I'll 
Also, once again, we got doubled up on what we had. Um, I think that's a glitch. It's got to be a glitch because it's that's the second time I've seen that happen in a short. Yeah, whenever we fight the fight the uh, pumpkin king, we get doubled on our bot items, which isn't necessarily bad in these in this case because this is worth 50 coins and I think this is worth like 100 coins if we already have it on our person, but. Dang it. Anything good out of this? No. Okay. So we need to go down. Got an assassin. Ooh. Okay. That could have been real bad real fast. Okay, let's go ahead and drop out these. Drop that and drop that. Which means we'll pick those up. Still, but let's just head on. Fortunately, I'm gonna reach that point where heading on is gonna make us really weak versus the really strong enemies, but we need some updated equipment. We're gonna get that just by running through hordes of enemies. We, we need to find. We need to be a little bit tactical about how we're killing these creatures. Like that gold mob right there. Let's. Plain little iron axe. <laughs> Deafened and dead. So what makes this skill so strong is the, the ability to deafen enemies that are like blocking. It just opens up for a strong counter attack. Don't get it by it, don't get it by it. to that man. Yee. <coughs> Actually really impressed and very happy that we didn't pull both those guys because uh oh, right there. Dangerous this is dumb this is dumb don't do this Don't 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 try to win a straight up melee attack battle. Let's let's what, what, what's the, what's the other thing the uh, uh, Rochambeau 
stand there and punch each other. Don't try to do that with a giant troll. What's wrong with you? Let's draw the helmets, grab some meat. That way we can just get some regen going with a meat of bread. It's a little bit, it's not a lot, but it doesn't have to be. It just needs to be something to heal ourselves up over time. Can we get a little bit of aiming? Please. I beg of you the aim so bad. It does hit both enemies behind and in front with that attack, so that is nice for multiple enemies, especially down a hallway. Assassin's Dagger, what do you do? Less damage, more crit. However, if you're going to be used as this over here, I think... Oh, that does overtake that. Yeah, it's not going to work out. Sorry, guys. You're with 136, though, and you're with 100. Let's destroy things that are not worthwhile. Not worth much, I should say. Worthwhile is kind of a, a big word. Big, muscly word. <coughs> <coughs> See, this is what I meant by uh, it doubled up. We got two black, two black daggers. These don't drop until later. So how we had two is a mystery. Okay, this is a crossbow killer. This is worth 94. We'll hang on to that for now. Fence broken. That means you take extra damage. <laughs> are we safe here for a second? We are. Quick coffee sips, alright. Coffee. Alright, what do we got here? We got iron axe, just a bread. Just a bread, just a cloak. Violet health. Swordsman, don't you do it, don't you do it, don't you do it. That's why you don't do it. Oh, yeah. Now, I am noticing, too, that uh, it doesn't seem like a right click gets us the healing from vampirism. It seems to be solely from left clicking with the weapon, which... Don't get me wrong, it makes sense, but at the same time, like, why does it make sense? I I want that ability across the entirety of my, all of my use of skills, not just that. Use that, we'll take care of that, destroy. Why enemies are dropping mirrors, I don't know. Get broke, son. Mm. Okay. Interesting that they. It is line of sight with them, guys. Okay. Worthwhile to take just because it is worth a fortune. Uh, not so much that. 84 will drop it. Drop it. Well, when I say drop it, I, I, I mean. Destroy it, not not drop. We want to get a little bit of money out of it if we're just getting rid of it. Okay, close enough. <coughs> I want to see how close we can eke up that we can get the bonus on. Excuse me. Oh, we gotta actually like, be be in combat with them. Mark them. It's interesting. Fast, that's good to know. Can I pop this? Oh yeah, check that out. Right there. I'm a bad shot when I say. So just a short sword. 
shot so what can you do look at all you bread and meat and stuff yes whoa homeboy is chunking my face can I get this place no let me get something to pick that up. Try some sword swords, that should make some room. Trying to be as efficient with my gold as I can be, since we did invest in the the gems to get the extra bag space. And extra bag space is gonna mean that we get better stuff at the end of it. Um, that'll ax, we're gonna lose Vampire if we take that. How much of a damage increase is that? Let's go ahead and just pop MP regen, HP regen, whichever one that is. It all blends the same to me. This is on par damage, we lose, we gain speed, we gain crit. Let's hang on to the vampirism for now. Go for that. Not a lot of gain, but it's a little bit. Can we please kill him? crossbow bolt. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, I don't, I don't appreciate your tone. I need to heal up before the guy smacks me, because if he smacks me, I'm probably dead. Region? Check. Will the MP use? Check. I don't appreciate getting smacked by another unusual. survive but I can't oh that's unfortunate we did get our quest complete got a pretty decent amount of gold from it and skills for the hunter nice our quest reset I guess I missed one yesterday which is unfortunate so 7100 excuse me 7400 we can upgrade our hunter abilities or ability to make hunter Hunter babies in the future. I say hunter babies. Let's be honest. That's kind of what this is. We're 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 investing in the future. Okay, blood sucker, not too powerful. Lunge have your chance to absorb some of the health of an enemy with killing. So that is vampirism in a straightforward. I execution is nice, but it is slow. It is very slow. Plus ten damage, five percent per gain. <laughs> this was the medium damage, which also depends on the type of ammo. Interesting. And this is Spire Bolt, which uh, has a chance to slow down the enemy. Not for nothing, this might be worthwhile investing into. That way we can use it as a additive on top of our melee. But what is this? Final Knives, 100 sprays. Uh, sways a lot of knives in all directions around them. I wouldn't mind giving that a shot as well, so let's uh, invest in this. Wow, that is a 21%, um, excuse me, a 20% chance of slowing the enemy down for 20% reduced movement speed at a 2.5% damage. It, so it's not much damage at all. It is a pinprick of damage, but 20% chance to slow him down for 20%. That sounds pretty reasonable. Uh, let's see, the, the fan of knives. Mm. I don't know, I feel like this would be worthwhile just because it's the, uh, as we invest points, it lets us dash further and further away. So let's throw a point or two in that and take it. That way, currently, it's a 
12% distance increased for the amount of dash. And it does technically do a little bit of area attack damage. But it's not really what we're using it for. Um, I want to know if I can dash through enemies with this as well. That way if I get locked into a corner, I can pop it and just dash through. Are we going to try Bloodsucker out? No, I... Hmm. It's only on kill. Let's, let's put one point in just to see how much damage it does. Wow, it's a 70% chance of vampirism, and you do increase how much HP you get from doing it. So, you know, screw it. Let's, let's invest into it and give it a, a solid shot for this next run. What do we got? We got two hunter. Uh, let's make that an, an even kill across the board. Damage and attack speed in our goal. Hmm. Now, because we didn't get two... Five on this one is actually upgraded, which is unfortunate. What can I say? Barrel mound's been fun. I've been screwing around with that on my off. So uh, let's do that. It's pretty much open up, open right away. Okay, those guys hurt. Those guys hurt real bad. Doesn't do much damage at all. Maybe, maybe this was a bad choice. Because we gotta actually get the final blow on the enemy to get. The HP regen. Which doesn't honestly seem to be that much. Hmm. This may be a, uh. Grab HP and, uh. Run. <laughs> and that, and it's only a seventy percent chance of vampirism. So, yeah, that's not activating much at all. So we're going to have to invest lots of points to get it to even you know, work, which is, uh, kind of depletes from its charm, if you know what I'm saying. At least the execution, I know uh, a set percent chance of the time that it's going to work, no matter what. This one, if you're going to rely it on as vampirism, that 70% is just not cutting it right now. Did. Wow, that didn't take long. <laughs> I missed my double shot, I'm not gonna lie. Let me just end this early, switch over. Not a fan of that skill at all. And honestly, the, the spider bite is interesting, but I don't know. I, I may have to just invest some more points into it before I can really use it worthwhile. Uh, anything worthwhile that... Well, I just said the word twice. Uh, MP? Possibly. HP? Yes, do HP. No points at all. I don't think we have points at all. Let's use basic shiv for now. Actually, hmm, just gain increased crit chance. That actually makes it really powerful. So specifically, it has lower attack speed, but it has increased crit chance for anyone whose health is below 30%. So that is an execution skill. I mean, it does increase damage. And it has an area attack, so it does give us an AoE. Yeah, okay, you know what? I did like it in that sense. Um, this is also a slower attack, but it is strong. Let's try this one. We're going to try something new out of this. Darn it. I want something new and awesome out of this, and then uh, let's just set up Catacombs Endless. 
Um, other than animals and stuff, it's just a little bit, uh, a little bit poisony. -y. Interesting. I'm not sure what the uh, benefit of that is. Like that white attack everywhere. Attack, it doesn't seem to do too much, and I use it a little bit MP. I don't know, it just doesn't seem to have much benefit. I think we may have actually been doing better with uh, our market target thing. But I mean, that's that's why you try out the different skills. You find out some that you just flat out don't like whatsoever, and then you get a couple that, hey, this this is pretty good. I know, I know, I've seen that pop-up flavor text before. Look to the walls, you might find something awesome. Yeah, I, I do all the time, usually when I don't want to. You shoot a bow and you're like, I'm gonna snipe that enemy, and then he's like hiding place, like, oh. Well, that's unfortunate. I did find out the, the number in the upper left hand corner, I was thinking it was just the level. That apparently is the number of skill points. Cause I had one, uh, I had like five, six skill points left and uh, on the archer and I went into a dungeon and still said I had exactly that many points left over the side upon entry. I'm like, okay. I thought that was just number of levels gained in the dungeon, but I was proven wrong. Yeah, that's right. Let the wall kill you, my friend. Let the wall kill you. Grab some juicy juice. Get out of here. Running consumes mana. I know. Poison, not my favorite thing to have. Poison. When this guy splits, or when we get when we get to the ones that do split, this execution is gonna be fantastic. I'll hit all of them at the same time, not have to worry about all the little suckers. Fantastic! Stomp, stomp. Oh, that guy hits like a. Tr he hit me for 23.5. Are you kidding me? It's like our entire HP. Well, I mean, shoot. That's uh, several losses in a row. I, I think that may be it for now. I mean, sometimes you do well, sometimes you don't. Hunter. <coughs> Hunter is definitely not my strong suit, despite it being an interesting class. A nice combination of range and melee, but we'll, we'll get around to... Under, unlocking understanding the hunter a little bit better. I, I think it needs a little bit lo more love from our passives before it can really shine. 2% damage increase. I mean, deals medium damage, it also depends on the type of ammo. Might be worth investing into just to see what it means by type of ammo. Like, the. Because there is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, hold on. So there's crossbow bolts, and then, um,. I know this doesn't help entirely, but like, this one said poisoned bolts, or like dripping bolts. This one was like shredding bolts. I think there was one that was like shock bolts or something, like later on. So maybe that is, like it says, t depends on the type of ammo. So if it, not only is it damage increased by the bolt itself, like we have on other offhands, but it actually changes the damage type and additional effects, even if it's not a special or an unusual type of item. That would be really cool. I honestly, that makes me want to use that one just to check it out. Because that would be awesome. Uh, going back over here, I think we'll use 
killer step just because it is kind of nice to when you gotta run away and yeah we'll we'll pick up like a rare hat or something um, just to have something in our our helmet slot going in but um, yeah thank you very much for joining me thanks for hanging out for more news and information on what's going on and what may be check out the description below if you like what you saw want to see more like it slap the like button dash the subscribe button and share the video expand the slackers universe because sharing is the greatest way to show your support. Oh, I'm sorry. I had to, it was an inopportune stretch, but I will check you guys out later. See you underground. Bye.